Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's a crazy challenge and uh, chances are that very small percentage of people can solve it. And it's, it's a polyconceptual uh, problem. You will see one problem and many concepts. It's uh, an original problem. So guys, this video is presented to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And name of this problem is Magic of Mutual Inductance. So as in my earlier videos, I have told you that my advanced courses on solid and fluid mechanics uh, have started already and uh, thermodynamics is uh, starting tonight. And guys, there is a very important info about uh, Unacademy race ITJ for next year admissions. So there are uh, huge prices in this. Uh, 10th moving to 12th will be getting two years uh, uh, Unacademy subscription and 11th uh, moving to 12th, they will be getting one year uh, an academy subscription so exam is today 10 january 12 pm to 3 pm and uh, 3 pm to 6 pm so if any relevant person is there please uh, uh, give it a try and uh, i just wish you that you will get uh, the desired uh, scholarship in this and for boosting your uh, advance uh, j advance preparation you can access my theory courses they are uh, advanced plus plus levels and definitely it is going to boost your uh, JE preparation significantly and uh, you can unlock many free courses on an academy using my code Nathan sir whenever it is asking for some invite code or uh, passcode you can use and trust me physics will never be the same again for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and uh, here is a statement of uh, this problem there is a current carrying equilateral triangular frame made of a uniform wire the energy stored in the space due to this frame is u naught an agent modifies this frame and makes a new frame which is part of a tetrahedron having four equilateral uh, triangular faces as shown in the figure evaluate the work performed by the agent if current remains the same in the newly formed uh, frame uh, guys this is the original problem here so you can see that there was a equilateral frame and uh, we are converting into uh, like basically we are bending it all right and bringing it in the form of a as if two planes of uh, tetrahedron we are covering by using this so definitely first thing which you'll notice is the size of this is going to be reduced that you should keep in mind even though diagram wise they may look uh, same size but if you read the language uh, of this problem carefully you will realize that uh, by modifying this frame uh, they are making this new one so definitely it is going to be a smaller one because here there are three sides and here there are uh, four sides all right so let's start the concept part is uh, w agent i can simply write u final minus u initial this agent involves all kind of external work done whether it is battery human or any other uh, external factor which can supply or uh, which can extract energy from this system and simply i can write this uh, energy stored is nothing but half l i square where l is the self inductance so i have to think uh, about this problem from the idea of uh, self inductance so i know this uh, initial energy is going to be uh, u naught which is a half l naught i square i'm saying initially when isolated triangle is uh, given its uh, self inductance is l uh, so that half l naught i square is actually u naught which is given to you instead of giving current and uh, self inductance of the loop they are giving the giving you the value of u naught similarly if somehow i can find out this final inductance of uh, this uh, modified uh, frame i can write the final energy and then my work done uh, the net external work done is going to be u final minus u initial which is half l final minus l initial times i square so entire thing is how to find this final self inductance or effective inductance of the system all right so first thing which we are going to notice here is side length of initial equilateral triangle is x and the side length of the final equilateral triangles is y then i can uh, write 3x is equal to 4y this is going to be the first uh, uh, equation which i am going to use you can see here uh, that uh, this length is uh, x here 
and this length in this case is going to be y so you can see 1 2 3 and 4 4 y is equal to 3 x so that is my first uh, condition but in order to proceed this in order to find the inductance of this part what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take same size of the triangles same size of the triangle I'll explain you in a while why I have taken uh, same size you can also think the same uh, so here you can see let's take the initially same side length to find the shape factor for tetrahedron frame shape factor means uh, that if this inductance is L naught then maybe it is number times L naught that kind of relation I want to find and then we are going to use the actual dimensions of the frame then I will consider once I know the uh, coefficient for uh, this particular geometry uh, that is what we are calling as a shape factor if I use that first I am going to take equal and then I will be using dimensional analysis to convert into the new side length y that is the whole trick for this problem so let's see how to apply so in this situation the self flux it must be equal to L naught I and I'm writing the energy stored in the system now this is the bend triangles two triangles inclined at some angle but guys one thing which you'll notice here if I try to close these loops you will get two independent loops here uh, loop 1 and loop 2 but when I'm considering these two as individual loops there is going to be mutual flux or you can say mutual inductance will come into picture so when I write uh, flux passing through the first one then it is going to be flux due to its own current and then flux passing through 1 due to 2 so I'm writing this as a phi self plus phi 1 2 flux passing through 1 due to 2 similarly I can write this uh, uh, flux passing through this uh, 2 as phi self due to its own current which is same as the previous one so phi s plus flux passing through 2 due to 1 that is phi 2 1 but if you remember reciprocity theorem it says that uh, phi 1 2 and phi 2 1 is going to be same if the currents are equal in the two loops so I can write this as phi 1 2 and phi 2 1 as phi m so by this I can say flux passing through 1 or flux passing through 2 is going to be same and that should be phi self plus phi m this is completely uh, symmetry based problem very easy hardly any calculation is there yet you need to think and very few people uh, were able to solve in fact no one has solved till now the correct answer no one gave uh, let's go through the next part of it so I can say net flux passing through this entire frame now in this situation this net flux is going to be uh, you can say uh, phi 1 plus phi 2 all right so phi 1 plus phi 2 is nothing but double of this because phi 1 is equal to phi 2 so 2 times phi self plus phi m phi self is known to us that is L naught I so somehow I need to find out this phi m mutual flux I have to find due to one triangle passing through due to flux passing through one triangle due to another triangle that I have to find out and in case of uh, tetrahedron all are symmetrical so <coughs> we'll be using that entire geometry here now uh, there is the most crucial step of this problem so I can say here tetrahedron is made of uh, four such equilateral triangles you can see here that is made of uh, four so one two this is three and this one is uh, fourth one so uh, just uh, you can apply superposition principle here like we do for uh, mag uh, current carrying dipoles so you can say here through any triangle through any triangle now its own flux will pass and due to three other surfaces there is going to be mutual flux so for the complete tetrahedron when it is uh, a closed surface all four triangles are present here all are current carrying in this situation in this situation I can say the flux passing through any one 
phase that is going to be its own flux which is the earlier which is the earlier uh, self flux and then three other uh, surfaces three other triangles are going to contribute 3 phi m now another very uh, you can see here this is the mutual inductance we have used all right here and we are using uh, <coughs> the scaling part also scaling or dimensions you can say and the next one here i'm going to use is uh, that is gauss theorem uh, for magnetism <coughs> so this is the flux passing through any one phase and there are four such phases so total flux through tetrahedron i can write that is four five star i'm calling this as five uh, five star so 4 5 star must be 0 because it's a closed surface so this is nothing but gauss theorem for the uh, tetra uh, gauss theorem for magnetism so from here i am going to get 5 star to be 0 or i am going to get phi s is equal to minus 3 phi m this value i am going to substitute here and bring everything in terms of phi s so when i substitute the value flux through the tetrahedron of same dimension uh, guys please remember first i am maintaining the same size so that x uh, each triangle has a side length of x so when i substitute the values uh, you can see phi m is nothing but minus phi s by 3 so 2 times phi s minus phi s by 3 so this will become 2 phi s by 3 which is multiplied by 2 again 4 phi s by 3 so that factor which is coming here is uh, uh, 4 by 3 so self inductance of same size of equilateral triangle it is nothing but 4 by 3 l naught this is the effective inductance already we have considered mutual potential energy and all in this mutual inductance will take care of that so this is the new uh, inductance and most of the students have just uh, solved using this they have got the answer by using this inductance value but there is a catch and the catch is another very important step of this problem and that is we have to we have derived this for uh, a tetrahedron of side length x but actually that is not the case the uh, the tetrahedron which we have is uh, having side length of y so now i am going to use dimensional analysis you can see another concept has come into picture uh, and using dimensional analysis for the final uh, frame made of initial frame all right final frame has a side length of y and this is having x this result we have got for side length x so now i need to convert it so self inductance uh, if you see it is uh, nothing but uh, L I slightly correction I have to make uh, that is going to be actually divided by I also L I is equal to B dot D A so actually this uh, I can uh, cancel out uh, it should be I should not come anyways it won't affect your answer because I have taken same so 1 by x b will have mu naught i by 2 pi d this kind of uh, form it will have mu naught i by 2 pi d for a wire so dimensionally it is current by uh, the size uh, x this is what i have written earlier so from here you will find that this self inductance comes as proportional to x similarly i can say here this uh, finally when I take side length of y uh, I'll be having this shape factor of uh, 4 by 3 L naught so that will be as it is so 4 by 3 times the new side which is nothing but y and from here I can say from here I can say this L final is also directly proportional to x and if L final is directly proportional to x you can say L naught is also directly proportional to x so that 4 by 3 y actually becomes x so final inductance value is actually L naught final inductance value is actually L naught now once you get this uh, now these values once you get these values now things are very easy for us you know the final value of it so i'll just keep it in uh, in a box all right so u initial is known to us 
u final is known to us both are going to be same and very interesting very amazing answer is coming that net work done by external forces or external agents uh, is going to be zero u final minus u initial is going to be zero guys this is going to be the final answer for this problem and there is a note here which is uh, you need to see it the net external force uh, the net external work involves all type of agents including batteries uh, which is maintaining the current in the frame because as you will start bending its uh, inductance is going to change and if inductance is changing so that will have a uh, different current uh, so if battery is connected across this the current will be actually changing but uh, battery has to do some work or uh, some work we will be uh, you know pulling out of uh, the battery in order to maintain the current and maybe there is uh, another human also who is modifying the shape of the frame or any other external factor which is capable of supplying or extracting uh, energy all those work done are involved in this i hope this question is clear to you and i'm pretty sure you have enjoyed this problem a lot it's a very tricky problem and that's that's why i have uh, my assessment was uh, that 0.001 person people can uh, solve this problem so if you have enjoyed this please leave a like share this channel with uh, all your friends and uh, it will be a great help if you can uh, share sharing is caring see i am sharing with you you must share my channel with other people so uh, i'll come up very soon with uh, another uh, amazing problem thanks for watching it